Today we're gonna go ahead and talk briefly about how I stuck to my goals personally and how you can start as well. Losing weight guys is all mental. When you're trying to lose weight, let yourself know you can do it. What I did when I was trying to lose weight is I told myself I want to lose weight, I can lose weight, and I will lose weight. So tell yourself you can and you will accomplish your goal. You dictate what goes in your mouth. So make smart choices. This is your life, take control of it. When you're trying to live a healthier lifestyle, or trying to stick to your weight loss goals, you should have a short-term goal and a long-term goal. Short-term goal should be Okay, next week I'll be one pound less. That should be your short-term goals. As for your long-term goals, say next year by this time I will be 40 pounds less. These goals will hold you accountable for what you're doing. Another huge thing that I absolutely hate, I have also done it myself, is making excuses. We are all busy, we all have families, we all have lives, but this is about you, this is about your body. I know this sounds hard. Stop making excuses, no more, we're done. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. All week you did a fantastic job on eating healthier, but then the weekend comes around, you go crazy, you binge, you do this and you do that. But does that mean you should set your weight loss goals back? No. Just because you cheated or did badly the weekend doesn't mean you're a failure. Not at all. Just like when you make a promise to someone, you broke the promise, but you hold yourself accountable for it. Does that make you a liar or does that make you an honest person? At the end of the day, it makes you an honest person. Losing weight and making a promise is relatively the same thing. Cheated the weekend, but you did so good those five days, you deserve a treat. We're not perfect, we're human beings, we make mistakes. So losing weight, you will have failures, but it's okay. We all do, I know, I do cheat, it's okay. Brush it off and continue to do better the next day. As time goes by, you get better. Let's go back to that example I gave you guys. So after five days of doing so good and you're eating so clean and the weekend you binge and you go crazy, it makes you not want to stick to a healthier lifestyle. Therefore, you completely stop eating healthier or even trying to. The trick to that is stop wasting time. I get the fact that you feel bad after you cheated. Learn from your mistakes and if you cheated or you had a bad week, didn't work out as often, it's okay. So instead of feeling bad, just do something about it the next day. So on and so forth. You're eventually going to get into a routine when you start eating healthier and want to pick out healthier foods rather than unhealthy foods. My last advice is this is your life. You have control over it and make yourself a promise you're gonna go ahead and start living a healthier lifestyle. This is your world, this is your life, take control and do it right now. I hope this video helped you guys out a little bit. I know starting something new is very scary, but don't knock it until you try it, or don't beat it until you try it. What I'm trying to say is, start today, you can do it, you will do it, stick to your promise and you will accomplish your goals. I hope this video helped you guys out a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.